Check it out. We got the church bus up in here with the tinted windows. I thought about getting a bus like this and turning it into by a bug out moto bus. I don't know, for fun, just for fun, man. <laughs> you can pick those things up for so cheap, like 5,000 bucks, man. Uh, but I don't know. But anyways, guys, a lot of you guys are asking me, you're like, Cycle Cruiser, dude, why don't you get the Yamaha MT-09 or the Yamaha MT-10? Everybody says they're absolutely awesome bikes. Cycle Cruiser, you need to get one. So why don't you get one, dude? I'm going to tell you exactly why I won't get one. Stay tuned. Let's go for a ride. You are watching Cycle Cruises all on one motorcycle channel. Subscribe today. Continually video suggestions, but you may find what you're looking for by visiting my website at cyclecruiser.com and click on the menu tab my videos. And those are a bunch of playlists with all of my videos categorized in them to make it easier for you to navigate through. Out of all the motorcycles I've had over the last almost eight years on this channel, I will tell you, this is the king of all the motorcycles, guys. The most fun out of all of them. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there, there's a lot of pansies in America that are scared of supermotos for some reason. I, 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 I tell you guys, you need to try a supermoto, especially a converted 450 supermoto. If, you're, if you are a beginner, do not start on this bike. This bike will... This bike could, could kill you, man. <laughs> it could seriously harm your health. It, it, it it's, has unleashed power. <laughs> oh, shit. But as far as the MT-09 and the MT-10, we, I'm going to do a motor vlog here, guys. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell you exactly why I won't get either one of those bikes. Uh, but first off, for those of you guys who want to get my gear like these amazing Cortec gauntlet gloves, and this airbag vest has helped keep me safe. I highly recommend everybody get one of these. Help save your life. Uh, also, ultralight carbon fiber helmet here. Definitely. It. And this uh, Dionese winter jacket. My heated gloves. Camel pants. I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos. Alright, let's go for a ride. Let's go for a ride. Yeah. All right, reason why I won't buy a Yamaha MT-10, I will tell you guys. Oh, I love the torque on this bike. And a lot of you guys are like Cycle Cruiser, that, that triple cylinder on the MT-09 has got all kind of character, man. It's got good torque. Amazing bike, man. Problem I have with the MT-09, and I've always had with the MT-09 and the formerly the FZ-09 is that they continue Yamaha continues to put a budget suspension on that bike and uh, they won't bring the SP version over here to America that has the better premium suspension on it I don't know why Yamaha does stuff like that I guess to try to keep the price point low for that bike which I think they would have done better could have done better by putting a premium suspension on the bike have it set up properly and charge more money i think people would still probably even more people would buy that bike now i know a lot of you guys are like cycle cruiser you can pick those bikes up really cheap used put your own custom suspension on there and, uh, and you got a sweet setup but the next problem i have with the uh mtl9 is that that headlight <laughs> Actually, the headlight doesn't look that bad to me. I think it looks pretty cool, but from all the reviews I've seen, they say it pretty much it sucks out here, man. And uh, they went budget on the headlight. Uh, and the bike is just budget, man. They could have made that bike so much better, and they can still, but they probably won't for some reason. Uh, but it, it, from what I hear, a lot of you guys out there swear by that bike and love it, and other people out there you sell it and you get something else you know like a ktm 1290 super duke r or something <laughs> uh or the mt10 that brings me to the mt10 and that you guys tell me about the mt10 the problem i have with the mt10 
is that it's so ugly, man. Ah, ugly bike. It looks like a like a cyborg enemy bike, man. <laughs> it's so freaking ugly, man. I, the, the front of it, the rear and everything looks fine. Don't get me wrong, but that headlight. They trying to make it look like a Transformers bike. I don't want my motorcycle looking like a Transformer bike. I'm sorry, man. I hate that headlight. And they, there's, from what, still, to this day, I don't think there's any aftermarket headlight that you could put on there. Now, if there is, let me know, because then I might consider that bike. But I'm gonna test ride it. You know what, guys? For you guys, I'm, when I go, I, I'm looking for my next bike. As you guys know, I sold my 2017 Aprilia Tuono. And I'm, I'm definitely gonna add a second bike, a sport bike or, or cruiser or something. It's got a lot of torque, of course. But I hear that MT-10 is an amazing bike, even though it's kind of overkill for the power, you know. But I hear it has such character, you know, because it shares the same engine with the, as the R1, but it's tuned for the streets, how we want it, you know. So I will, I'm gonna get out there, I'm gonna try to test ride that bike and the MT-09. See how I like those bikes? And hey, maybe I might pick up one of those bikes and, and, uh, and modify it to my taste. But, for right now, I really, they're not on my list. Neither one of those bikes. Oh, I love this bike, baby. All kinds of torque at the bottom. All that bottom in power. Feeling all kind of goodness. <laughs> Out here on the streets. <laughs> but, you know what, though? Even though you can't go wrong with any one of those bikes, to be honest with you. Uh... I'm not saying they're terrible bikes, but I'm just giving my opinion on, you know, even though it doesn't really matter because when I get out here and ride on these sport bikes, I don't really do much anyhow. I'm not out here, you know, blazing through the twisties like a street Rossi out here trying to get some knee slide action up in here. <laughs> you know, I don't take it to the track. I haven't even been to the track yet. You know, I, so I don't really do much. I, honestly, I know you guys are going to say Cycle Cruiser even with the budget suspension it doesn't matter for the riding that you do out here putting around out here on around town you know uh and you're probably right <laughs> but you know what i like to select motorcycles that i know i can resell pretty fast and some of you guys ask me cycle cruiser how do you sell your bike so fast it's because i get highly desirable bikes like that xd avail that i own sold that quick that Tuono, put it up, it was sold in a week. Uh, you know, in the CBI 1000 double R, that sold real fast. Um, and the 600 double R, all the bikes I've had sold really fast. And uh, so I like to select exquisite bikes. You know what I'm saying? And uh, so that's why, guys. So we'll see guys, stay tuned, leave a comment below, let me know some other bikes you think I should get. So, until next time guys, don't forget to subscribe to my All The One Motorcycle channel. Catch you guys later. Thumbs up, check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.